Hi friends, I am Alok Mukherjee. In this episode of Making Loudspeaker, I will show you how to make a 10 inch woofer with foam surround paper cone. Let us see what are the materials needed to make this 10 inch woofer. This is a 10 inch cast aluminium basket with 4 holes for mounting the magnet assembly. It measures about 260 millimeter outside diameter. This is the pole plate set to be used with the magnet. This is the ferrite magnet. Its diameter is 120 millimeter and height is 20 millimeter. This is a centering plug to be used for fixing the magnet with pole plate. These are a pair of epoxy adhesives to be used for fixing the magnet with pole plate. This is a paper gasket which is used between the basket and the magnet assembly to avoid noise. <coughs> this is the foam surround paper cone with 33 millimeter neck diameter for holding the coil. This is the spider and this is a dust cap. This is a coil to be used. This is the rubber gasket and these are the this is a common adhesive rubber based adhesive. These are four screws uh, to be used for fixing the magnet assembly. This is a terminal strip for connection with the coil ends. This is the lead wire which is used with the connector. This is a solder and some films for centering the paper cone. Now we are going to fix up the magnet assembly first. We will use the pair of epoxy adhesive with the adhesive and hardener separately in the pole plate and magnet surfaces. This magnet and pole plate are pressed together. Similarly, the top plate is fitted accordingly. Now it is pressed and the centering plug is pushed inside so that the center is perfectly uh, right all sides. This is the terminal being fitted with the basket. screwed up and now the paper gasket is glued and pressed with the basket with the holes aligned. And by this time the magnet has dried up, the centering plug is unplugged and you can see a perfect ring gap 
for the coil. Now the magnet and basket are put together and these four screws are used for fixing the magnet assembly and the basket. It is being screwed up. It is tightly fitted and this assembly is ready. Now we will be using the paper cone. It is placed like this, the spider, paper cone and finally the dust cap which will be fitted all together after the assembly. This is the coil. This will be put inside the cone neck. The leads are clean properly and the coil impedance is measured by a digital multimeter which shows that the coil is 4, four ohms impedance. Now the speaker cone, I mean the paper cone is glued. The similarly the spider is also, spider neck is also glued. both are joined together and the coil is also placed inside the paper cone. So this is the paper cone, spider and coil all together. The coil neck in the coil neck the glue is applied to fix it properly. And now the whole thing is being dried up. After drying, adhesive is applied to the seat of the spider and also on the foam edge and glue is also applied to the basket where the spider and cone will be placed. Cone, spider and the basket, all the surfaces are glued properly and now we will be placing the paper cone with the lead where should be pointed towards the connector. Now the film strips are used for centering the paper cone coil assembly. The film is put from all the sides so that the gap is maintained. Now some more films are added to the <coughs> spider and paper cone both are fixed with the basket and pressed properly so that there is no gap. Now the rubber gasket is fitted with adhesive around the edge and the gasket is being pressed on the paper cone assembly.
now we'll be using a needle for piercing the paper cone making two small holes so that the lead wire can pass through the hole and connect it with the coil the lead wire is passed through the small holes and the coil end is being tied up with the lead wire and the joint will be soldered the coil end is bare and it is just pressed a little and the end is being trimmed the other end is also connected with the terminal and now the centering films are taken out and the free movement of paper cone is checked there should not be any touching of voice coil now the glue is applied to the coil ends so that it is fixed with the cone properly it should be dried up and there should not be any noise from the junction this is the lead wire fixed you can see from outside and the junction of coil and cone uh, is made stronger by applying epoxy adhesive so that the joint is very strong now we'll magnetize the speaker with the magnetizer the speaker is placed inside the magnetizing coil and it is being magnetized with the required voltage and it is taken out from the coil the magnet is charged the speaker is now being tested with a power supply by applying dc voltage you can see with the positive end touched to the terminal the cone will move up and it will be marked as positive now with the ac voltage uh, we can see a vibration in the speaker cone it should be Uh, there should not be any noise now the dust cap will be fitted with the cone and it is placed in the center of the cone properly and now the offer is ready for use This is how a 10 inch woofer is assembled with foam surround paper cone. This speaker can handle about 100 watt power. If you have liked this video, please subscribe the channel. In future, I shall try to bring more interesting topics in making loudspeakers. Thank you for viewing.